Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you a ground button test using the Chroma 19032 electrical safety analyzer. The purpose of doing a ground button test, rather than the more traditional ground continuity test, is to ensure the integrity of your ground conduit. There are a few connections involved in setting up the ground bond test. Firstly, the current drive and current sense connections should be attached to the chassis of the unit. Secondly, the neutral should be connected to the ground pin of the AC plug that powers the unit. Lastly, the high voltage terminal can be connected to both the line and the neutral pins in the AC plug for doing high pot testing, although we won't use them in this test. Finally, let's look at our test parameters and actually run our test. These are all the parameters for the ground bond test we're going to perform. The test step is 1, meaning we're looking at the first step in the series. We set our test mode to ground bond out of the options on the right, which are ground bond, AC high pot, DC high pot, insulation resistance, and leakage current tests. We'll set our constant current to 5 amps and choose our pass fail limits of 100 milliohms and 0.1 milliohms. Finally, we'll leave our test time to the default of 3 seconds. We won't be doing a high pot test during this ground bond test, so we'll leave the twin port off. We also won't have any extra channels on this unit, so we'll leave those off as well. Now we'll go to the main menu and choose the test button to go to the test screen. The test screen will show some of the parameters for the test we're performing. We're only doing one test, it's going to be a ground bond test, we're providing 5 amps, and we're looking for less than 100 milliohms. And now we'll run the test. The unit detected 7.8 milliohms of resistance between the ground pin and the chassis. This is between our high and low limits, so it responds with a pass. That's all for today. Make sure to contact us at chromausa.com to request a web demo or a quote.